and I called him Marty. Um, there's no pads, pads in here now, it's all uh, fight your way through. But anyway, I called him Marty and then quite recently, a month or two ago, a female showed up. I have a feeling she's a young female, but I'm not sure about that. But the thing is, I haven't seen Marty at all in a week or two. And that to me seems unusual because uh, it's not like, I doubt he's gone looking for love because uh, I think they normally breed around July. I'm gonna have to hop over here now. <laughs> and um, and as I said on one of my videos, I was stopped by a guard, a policeman there a few days ago. And uh, he said that a Pine Martin after he checked me and I fooled him into thinking I was a decent person. Haha. Uh -huh. He uh, he told me that a Pine Martin had been uh, killed on the road. Now I thought it was quite far away but I looked up the area and it's only about uh, five kilometers from here now that so it could well be poor old Marty because they can have quite a large territory um but as I said I haven't seen him I don't know a week or two and he'd normally visit here and it's funny like the female is here all the time now she's kind of replaced him uh so I think he's either gone or the poor fella is gone gone now this is uh, this is where I filmed them. Have a look at this. I just for a change I put some apple out there, and when I, the very first night I uh, I laid food out for for turned out to be Marty. I left uh, apple, and I happened to have banana, and I left peanuts. He didn't touch the apple either. Um. And this, you see, look, this is this is this is their droppings. They mark the area constantly with both urine and uh, uh, feces. They literally poop where they eat. And I have them on camera doing that. I'm sure you're not that interested in seeing it, but uh, that's Pine Martin anyway. That's what they do. Uh, so I don't know. I'm, I think poor old Marty. I, I don't know. I have something else here which I'll do a video on. You can see here. I don't have this tied to the tree now I do have the lock tied to the tree that's on a little ground spike now that is down um, that's way down into the ground and this can go way up I bought one from a camera trail camera place and it was fine but I realized I used to do a lot of fishing that a fishing bank stick bank stick bank sticks are just things that anglers put you know heads rod rests and and vital arms and things in and they use it for various fishing related things would probably be better so i got um you can get aluminium which are much lighter to carry but this is steel and it's much better for putting into the ground especially if it's if it's hard now it's very soft here but i'll do a video on those because and you might be saying well why don't you just tie it to the tree you know uh, to, to the tree but it's much easier for a smaller to medium species to use this and I have an angle a, a camera whatever it's called try no, there's a name for it anyway a tilt mechanism there now you don't absolutely need that but the, you know they're only a couple of quid and um, I use it here only I wouldn't use it with the badgers because they most likely just knock it over now the pine martin does investigate the camera occasionally but but they're not really interested but the badgers yeah they, I could see them just knock, knocking it over um, so uh but it is very very handy for trying to get precise adjustments uh and it would be brilliant now like i often film rodents but i don't purposely film them if you were filming rodents or something fantastic because you can get really low to the ground on these and there's all different lengths uh but i'll do something on that but yeah so that's the story i i, I don't know unless marty sh suddenly shows up now i have a feeling he might no longer be with us I suppose there's a good chance if he's gone another male will, will, will sooner or later move in here 
because they are territorial he wouldn't allow another male in but um and they say the females won't allow another female either but that female looks she's quite small the one that comes here martina i'd say she's uh i don't know maybe she's big enough to hold her ground i don't know but um so that's it anyway i just thought i'd mention that show you the spot i'll do something on, on those um bank sticks uh if for people who are really into trail cameras uh um different options and and uh, they are very handy they'd be great in the garden as well if you're filming like hedgehogs or something in your garden um but anyway that's it for now uh subscribe if interested uh all the very best take it easy adios